Coming up, a private investigative organization about to reveal of its top undercover project titled The Ministry of Darkness. This investigation would further reveal the very circumstances under which an apostle of a church joined a couple and later compromised the woman into a state of idolatry till the woman discovered that her diary had been read severally by her husband and given the circumstances of her husband knowledge, decided to set her bedroom ablaze. The investigation would also unravel a number of bishops who guarded to ascend to the throne, quote, who will be thy servant? And one bishop who is well known in Ghana with about several branches of churches in his name stood and bowed before the patriarch and was conferred on him, quote, you are the mafiaso. <laughs> the investigation would demand and unravel who is this bishop in Ghana single-handedly has the London right or pass to land an aircraft in a location believed to be where Jesus was baptized in Israel. And this same expose would unravel the circumstances under which an apostle of one of the biggest Pentecostal church in Ghana nearly lost his life in a close shave, brutal attack, and why. The investigation will reveal a renowned bishop in Ghana who is known in the circles as the Patriarch, who said he has conquered the beast of Ghana. The same bishop allegedly secured some percentage in Ghana's oil. The investigation would disclose details how he became part of Ghana's oil deal in the ex President Kufour's administration. The investigation would, however, detail how this bishop got married to a foreigner and apparently used her as a decoy to bring down some investors to control and manage Ghana's oil. The investigation also would fish out a renowned bishop together with a syndicated group transported narcotics outside Ghana for well over two decades and why. The investigations would be broadcast across many channels including the superhighway for listeners and viewers here in Ghana and around the world to know the truth nothing but the truth let's pray for ghana against any covering cast and dark clouds covering the airspace of ghana stay tuned in the coming days weeks months and maybe a year